very, very powerful American shooter. Both boys, sorry, I shouldn't say boys, both men. Yep. Uh, very young, Brady, born in 1988, whereas Kim, Mr. Kim was born in 1992. Should mention that Brady won his only encounter against the Korean. Uh, they've uh, only met head to head once. It was this year in a match for the gold at the World Cup in Porridge. Uh, Allison ended up winning that one six to two. Allison, of course, ranked number one in the world and uh, the World Cup champion from Edinburgh. Kim, ranked number two in the world, won individual titles at the Asian Games in 2010 and uh, currently is uh, the team youth world champion. So this is uh, a definite head-to-head uh, -head matchup of uh, gigantic proportions. We can see Kim Woo Jin, very calm. Brady, calm as well. Both archers know what they need to get done here. Both shooting full time, but that's a very uncharacteristic seven. I have never seen Brady shoot a seven before, and I've shot against him personally. He always kicks my butt. <laughs> so that's a 28 from Kim Woo Jin taking the first set, two set points. Brady's going to be shooting first on target number two because he is the scoring archer in the deficit. Looks like a strong shot, that's a 10. Brady knowing how to do the shot, he's done it millions and, oh, I'd say 100,000 times before. Probably not a million, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Kim Woo Jin, again, pounding down the 10. We'll see how many 10s these guys can plug out versus the last semifinal. This could be very interesting if they get into a 10 clinic here. <laughs> it's a little, there you go. I'm gonna take my words back. <laughs> Clearly, Brady knows how to pound the tan ring. Kim Woo Jin shooting a nine, kind of opening the door for Brady. If Brady shoots a 10 here, he clinches this set, giving uh, both archers two set points in total. 10 will win. That's a 10. <laughs> he does this, that. 10, 10, 10. Brady Allison gets himself back in this contest. Scores a perfect 30 on his three arrows. and. Two set, set points set. each. Yeah, exactly. That last arrow for Mr. Kim was uh, 10, sort of confirming that he's still, he's still pretty good. <laughs> Brady shooting first on target number two because we're going back to the original shooting order. Take a look at Rio Wild, former world champion, and uh, yesterday uh, a bronze medalist. Bronze medalist, yeah. That's another 10. Once Brady finds that X ring, he really knows how to put his arrows in there. See if Kim Woo Jin can keep it up as well. I have no doubt that he can. That's dead center. He does exactly that. It's too bad there's no camera in the middle of the target like what we have at the Olympics. And in that case, he would have just shot the camera. <laughs> a little bit of a weak shot for Brady. Kind of un, uh, uncertain about it, and that's what the nine came from. But he knows that the next arrow is going to be a 10. But Mr. Kim's. Ten. Another 10. It is that. So even if Brady shoots a 10, it's still, the door is still open for Mr. Kim. Ten. That's a 10. 29 points of a possible 30, but he'll sit back and hope that Kim shoots an 8 or something because Kim will tie with a 9, win with a 10. That's a 9. And it's a draw wow. at three set points per archer. You know, saying here, I want the medal. No, I want the medal. No, I want the medal. <laughs> a little bit of a long hold for Brady, but a nine low, which is characteristic of a long hold. Door is kind of open for Kim Woo Jin. If he shoots a 10, that takes the lead in this set so far. Looking like a good shot, that's a 10. And he does just that. Confident Kim. Brady's going to want to come back from that first nine. Nine. Oh. Again, that's a little bit uncharacteristic of Brady. And a huge opportunity here Definitely. for Kim Woo Jin. That's another 10 behind the first arrow, but you can see that it is inside the line. Kim's kind of wondering to his coach, is that in? Is oh yeah, okay, that's good. You can relax now. Brady's got two nines under his belt so far. Let's see what this last arrow brings. That's a 10. It is on the line, but you can see it is in on the line. 
giving him 28 points. Kim just needs a nine to take this set, which is kind of child's play for a Korean. There you go. There you have it. Five, three in set points. Kim Woo Jin of Korea has an opportunity here to win it with just a tie. The Koreans always encouraging their archers very, very loudly. It's kind of inspiring, believe it or not. Ever get distracted by that uh, when you're facing them? No, I actually don't. <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> it kind of makes me think, you know, they, they think that um, I have a winning chance, so ah. they have to really encourage their archers. So it makes go. me feel good. Hey, it's a good way of looking at it. That's a nine from Kim. Brady has got one point lead for this set. He's got to be a little bit of a comfortable place right now. See what he does with this arrow. That's a 10. Wow. Brady's he looks like he's in the zone right now. Yeah, and he's definitely got a good 10 count going on right now on that target. Unfortunately, no records can be kept of these because it is set play, so no 10 count counts. That is a nine. Brady's got a two point lead now, going to the final arrows of regulation set play. If Brady shoots a 10 or even a nine, he clinches the match or the set. There it is, that's a nine, he forces the shoot off. Well, we are in for some uh, amazing shooting here coming up, Crispin. It's, uh, as you mentioned before, it's a one, one shot shoot off and that uh, closest to the middle wins it. So mm -hmm. this, uh, this isn't the time to go to the fridge right now with uh, this single shot coming up from both of these athletes. I think I just saw Brady kiss his arrow. Sort of wishing him a little bit of good luck. Let's see if that kiss definitely puts his arrow in the 10. One shot shoot off for both of these athletes. Closest to the center. Oh, that is on the X ring. Kim Woo Jin is going to have to put his arrow inside the X ring just to keep his gold medal hopes alive. Very good shot from Brady. Final shot. Oh, that is definitely going to be close, but it looks like Kim Woo Jin might have taken it. Wow. In the shoot off.